before I prep them, I just wanted to show you guys how they come. They come in this box. This is the box that all my diapers and everything came in. It was just in this bag and it has like one of those super, like those seals. So everything fit perfectly in that bag. I love the way it came. Um, and then we have them individually wrapped like this. And then you open it. And they come out and they just like this. Even the inserts for these came wrapped up like that. So I just wanted to show you guys, if you guys order from the website, this is how it comes. So I got them in here. I got the max load. I have it in hot because I want these to get super duper clean. These are the first wash. And then it's so, uh, I have it on heavy whites. I think that's gonna be the best one. I did do an extra spin, no soaking. Because I have hard water, we will not be doing extra rinses. But I just put in borax and OxyClean. No softener. This is usually the softener that I, I use, but no softener. Okay? No softener. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Say hi, Boo Boo. Say hi. So today, it's gonna to be the first full day of cloth diapering. I started yesterday, but I started like midday. I was just like, okay, I'm done using the disposable diapers. I need to just start. All her diapers were washed and dried and I just didn't set them up. So I ended up ooh, getting them done yesterday and today's gonna to be the first full day of cloth diapering. I just changed her diaper. They're so cute. She looks so cute in them, by the way. She really does. I was just trying to learn how to make sure that I put them on properly because I don't want, I, I don't, why did my accent just come in like that? I don't want them to, God bless you, my love. I don't want them to be too tight on her and she got thick legs. So I YouTubed it and I feel like we got a good um, fit this time. Um, but she looks so cute in them. Doesn't she look so cute in this onesie too? Like her skin complexion against these colors just look so cute. So I am going to get my cloth diapers together today. I have not done my cloth diapers yet. I have them in here, um, but I've been using disposable wipes. I'm still gonna use disposable wipes and I'm still gonna use um, disposable diapers occasionally if I need them, but yeah. Uh, cloth diapering all day today. I have them in here. And Let's see how this goes. I've gotten like three poopy diapers already um, within yesterday and today. I just changed a poopy diaper and I don't mind it. It's not that bad. Um, I was a little intimidated yesterday and I was like, should I really do this? But I mean, I already invested this money in it. I'm going to do it. It was just a moment of like, no one I know do, does this. I don't. This is like this the first thing that I do, that I do not have anyone I know at all doing this. And there are many reasons why we're cloth diapering. Um, so I'm just excited. So today is day one. I am going to get ready because I just woke up. This is my morning face. I had my hair braided because 
postpartum hair loss i feel like i can't have it curly because my hair is breaking so much because it's tangling so much so i'm gonna braid it and then eventually straighten it in a couple days it's just what's best for right now so we're gonna touch base with you guys next diaper change explain how things are going and i'm gonna eat breakfast and homegirls go hang out with mamas yeah Cover yourself. So, we are back really quickly with a really quick comment. So, these are size 3 to 6 jeans. 3 to 6 months. And usually, she would be this size. She's not going to be this size that much longer with the cloth diapers. Look at the little fluff butt. These are double inserts in here just because I know her and her pee. She can pee a lot sometimes. So, I'm going to have to go to Walmart and get her a size bigger probably tomorrow when I go into town just because I want these jeans for her. They fit her right now, but in a few, they're not going to fit her. I mean, she has a little space here, not going to lie. She has a little bit of wiggle room, but they definitely don't fit her as loose as they would if she didn't have a cloth diaper on I'm also gonna try these ones on her just because I was curious about that I was curious about knowing how you were curious too you wanted to know <laughs> yeah so I was curious about knowing how pants would fit her um, with a cloth diaper so I'm gonna try this one on her these are three to six months they should fit her perfectly um, and then like I said these fit her but they're going to not fit her in a little while so I'm gonna get her those and then I'll probably end up getting giving these to my sister um, in a few yeah we'll give these to Khaleesi after you wear them one time yeah yeah and we'll get you the other ones all right so I'm gonna try these on I'll show you guys in a second So here these are they definitely fit her better um, she still has a good amount of room to grow in these um, but the fluff fluff is real you can definitely see the difference with cloth diapers um, but it's not you know anything bad it reminds me of the Rugrats you guys remember like Tommy from the Rugrats where he wore cloth diapers I'm pretty sure so that's what it looks like. So I definitely think that you're going to outgrow your pants a little bit quicker than normal. Um, I mean, she's a pretty big girl. She's already almost 18 pounds. Mama, I mean, baby girl loves to eat. I'm going to say mama loves to eat. I mean, she does, but she loves to eat. She's definitely growing super healthy. She's like in her 96th, 95th percentile. Um... I never knew that until I had a child, what that really, 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 really meant. But, yes. Jeans, definitely, I'm going to get another pair of these because I really like these. Look at, these were $4.88 at Walmart. You cannot beat that. Um, they're like perfect, perfect, everyday jeans. So I'm going to get her a bigger size of these before they run out. I might honestly get her the next two sizes just because I want these jeans for the next couple seasons. So, I am going to go eat breakfast now. I just wanted to try them on. Last night I really wanted to try on, but I was like, I'm not going to wake her up just to try on pants for my own pleasure. So, I'm going to put her onesie back on, her little zipper, pajamas, and I'll show you how that fits, actually. One second. Home girl. It's going to hang out right here while mommy cooks, right? You going to play with your toys? The diaper makes her sit up a little bit better, which is cool because I was using this. But now the cloth diaper is just her. Yeah, it helps you sit up a little, right? She's starting to drool. She's starting to drool so much. Hey. Hey. Hi. All right. 
she still doesn't really grab her toys. She kind of tries, she'll be like, but she's not there yet. She's not there yet. She's almost four months. Yes, she's a big girl. She looks bigger. You look bigger. You following the camera? Yeah. You following the camera? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, okay. It's 9.40. Look at how cute this picture is. My kitchen is dirty. I gotta put stuff in the dishwasher. And I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. So I changed her again uh, because we're going for a walk right now. And I put in a bamboo insert. So I realized that I'm just gonna do one insert during the day since I change her frequently. I think that should be okay. Um, at night, I'll double the inserts just because she'll go longer without um, being changed. So it looks a little bit better. Um, it fits her a lot better since she's still small. She's a big baby, but she's still small. Um, I'm not gonna take a diaper with me. I shouldn't be gone for more than an hour. I'm going to the post office and then I'm going to the mailbox and just taking her for a walk. Hi. Hello. Hi, gorgeous girl. Yeah. All right, so I'll touch base with you guys in a little bit. So far, I'm liking cloth diapering. Um, honestly, like I said, I was really intimidated by it at first, but so far, so good. She's doing good. She's liking it so far, I guess. Didn't react to it. So I decided from a, so I decided to switch this video from being a day of cloth diapering to my first full week of cloth diapering. I'm gonna include my first washes, things like that. Um, baby girl is, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I swear she can she knows that like I can see her because she's always staring at it anyways so I washed my cloth diapers for the first time yesterday let me close this and what happened was that I've been using this butt cream I do not like it um, I'll insert a picture right here and it's leaving a residue on my diapers you see that? Oh, you probably can't see it that good on that one. And supposedly this is like cloth diaper safe, but I don't like that the the sense of that. You see the little? You see that? You see how white? It's like a little like residual um, cloth diaper cream. So what I'm going to do is use a little bit of Dawn soap and scrub it off a little bit. Um. It's clean. I've cleaned them three times, but I don't feel comfortable with that. I want her to have fresh, clean diapers. Like, I want to look at them and, yeah, for them to be clean. So, I'm going to scrub them and then put them to wash again, and let's see how that works. Hey, guys. So, cloth diaper. Super cute. Um, Today... Right now, I just ended up making her like cloth diaper liners so that I can put some non cloth diapering safe butt cream because um, she has a little redness, and I am like, just and I'm like, I don't like any type of redness on her. So, um, I What happened? So I don't like any redness on her. Uh, and the coconut oil was not really doing what I wanted to do. So until the cloth diaper safe butt cream comes in, which will be, my husband just got home, which will be in a few days. You're so ugly. Which will be in a few days. Um, I'll be doing a little bit of a lining if I feel like she needs to use other types of butt creams. Hello. Hi, cutie pie. Hi, cutie pie. 
Hey guys, so, oh, let me pull my shirt down. I was just trying to feed her, but she didn't want to eat. Say hi. <laughs> Baby girl is five months today. Mm. So, I wanted to touch base with you guys because I'm finishing editing this video. Come on, mommy. Come on. There you go. So, I am finishing my cloth diaper like full week of first week. I finally got a chance to edit it. There are a couple of clips that are missing that I don't remember where I put them. But um, the mistakes that I have made during cloth diapering in the beginning were really annoying. Um, but it's all a learning process. Um, one of the mistakes in a clip that I don't know where I put it was the fact that I was using um, OxyClean. Is it OxyClean? Yeah, I was using OxyClean and I was thinking that it was detergent. No, OxyClean is not a detergent. OxyClean is a booster to remove stains. So in the beginning, I did not clean her diapers properly. Thank God it did not affect her. Thank God it wasn't. Um, I, I believe it still has disinfecting properties in it, but I didn't clean them as good as I needed them to be. Um, I noticed that within the first three days, I think it was, um, after I washed them like once or twice, I noticed that and I was like, oh, OxyClean is not a detergent. Um, some detergents do have OxyClean in them, which I did buy one with it, but it's not. So I ended up changing that and I got Tide and then the OxyClean and then the Borax because I have hard water. Um, but so far, I love cloth diapering. She's currently wearing one right now. I know, Mama. She is um, five months. I've been doing this for about a month fully already. Um, and I can't see myself going back to disposable diapering. I did just travel and... On the day that I was washing her cloth diapers before I left I was using disposables which was a couple of diapers it was probably like four or five each day just because I wanted to have her entire stash washed instead of traveling with dirty diapers I only traveled with the diapers that she used that day I know mommy um, let me put this up here um, so um yeah and I absolutely love it. Cleaning them does not affect me. Um, I clean them about every two days. I do have another stash that I'm going to talk to you guys about in my next video, um, which pretty much completes my entire stash. I ended up spending some money on it, but this right here was completely free. So my next video is gonna be talking to you guys about how you can get free cloth diapers if you need it, if you need assistance on starting your stash or completing your stash, I know of a couple programs that I'm gonna share with you guys, which are awesome. I'm very grateful for what I received. Um, but ultimately, I love cloth diapering. If you're considering it, try it. Honestly, try it just because it's not as bad as it seems. I think the most intimidating part about starting to cloth diaper is the fact that no one around you probably cloth diapers. There's probably very limited and every single time you talk to people about cloth diapering, it's kind of like, girl, why are you cloth diapering? That's nasty. But it's not. It's honestly not. You're going to deal with poop regardless. That's one known fact. Two, um cleaning them is not that bad I haven't ventured into eating solids she still is a hundred percent breastfed and I'm nervous for that part but I know that I can achieve that part and I'll update you guys as it continues on on how it is cloth diapering but I honestly will not not cloth diaper the rest of my children if I'm ever blessed with more kids um they will be cloth diapered more than likely from the beginning, I got to research on newborn cloth diapering because I know that's a little bit different. But for the most part, if you want to try this, try it. It will feel a little bit um, foreign in the beginning. You will feel a little bit of anxiety. I did. Um, and like I explained in the video, it's because you don't know what you're venturing into. You do not have anyone to consult with you to talk to about this. So, yeah. Cloth diaping is awesome. I'm going to link down below the ones that I use. I use Alba Baby. If you're trying it out, I recommend you um, getting them off Amazon. But if you're going to get your sash, 
I highly recommend you going on their actual website because um, I got a better deal getting them from their website than I would from getting them off of Amazon. But I will do another separate video on all the things that I have for cloth diapering. It is like I said, it's been a month now and I've done so much more different things. I've added to my sash, I've changed certain diaper creams, things like that. I, I feel like I am so much better with um cloth diapering since I've recorded this video. But um yeah. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about cloth diapering, message me, comment down below. I will make sure to make a video on that. If you have any specific videos for me to make, I will definitely do that. I am looking at the wrong spot. I was looking on this side, camera's on this side. I'm recording on my phone real quick. Um, but yes, I need to feed this child or get her down for a nap. She's a little fussy. But I'm done talking. Talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Goodbye.